Are we live here as well? We're live. We got four cameras. Oh my gosh, we're breaking the internet. I Hi, hope not, because everyone's at home Hi, right Instagram. now on the internet. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining. Thank you for joining us. We're going to give everyone a second to sort of come on in and uh, rest and relax and just sit down and get ready for a, ready a for beautiful some music. moment. Some, some beautiful music beautiful that we music. had to perform. Mm -hmm. Honestly, we just couldn't sit at home. Come over this way just a little bit so everybody over here can see you too. We couldn't just sit at home and not put some love out into the world through our art. And so that's why we're here, really. We just, uh, right, hon? I mean, we yeah. couldn't, we, we, we just, we, we couldn't sit at home and just, just, I mean, don't get me wrong, we enjoyed a day of it. <laughs> and then we decided that we had to just put our love and our art out into the world and show that not only we can do this, but you can do it as well, as well in any form that you feel like it is. Because as musicians, the music and the artistry lives in all of our hearts. And it's, it's easy to shine that out into the world in any place, any time. So I hope you all are inspired and feel like sharing your own music with the world. Beautiful, Dave. Thank you. Uh, and thank you to the Dallas Opera for yes. collaborating with us on this. Shall we start? Yeah, let's get started. I actually wanted to read a few things off of uh, some notes I made. It. So it's I'll been, get ready at the time. yeah, you get ready. Uh, it's been a really unusual week to say the least. And, um, that doesn't mean that as artists, we, the music just stops in our hearts. So all of the artists in Don Carlo at the Dallas Opera have all gone home, except for me, because apparently I'm just hanging on. So I feel a bit lonely here, and I miss making music with all of them. So Rob, Morris, Jamie, Andrea, Leah, we miss you. We're uh, so hard, sorry that we could not do this, uh, this opera together, but that doesn't mean it has to stop, which is why we're here today. And uh, I'm wondering if you want to, please put into the chat. Chat, I'm so curious what's going on right now with you. Where are you? How has this affected you? Let everybody know I want this to be a moment of sharing together, of being together in unity. So uh, let everybody know where you're at, how you're doing. I hope everybody's well out there. Now, um, the first piece I'm going to be performing is actually an excerpt from Don Carlo. Uh, I've been preparing for this role in some ways my entire vocal life. Uh, the role of Rodrigo from Don Carlo, it's a, very, it's a defining role for any baritone aspiring to move into like large bel canto singing. And I've been looking forward to the performing this, career, this role for my entire career. Um, I've been preparing and memorizing and working on this for months every day. And uh, so I had to share a little bit of it with you. So uh, in many ways, it felt for a while like it had slipped through my fingers. But now with this live stream, this is going to be the first time I'll have sung Rodrigo in any venue in public. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, now I'll sing for you Rodrigo's death scene from Act 4 of Don Carlo.
So, that was Rodrigo's death scene from Don Carlo. I hope you enjoyed it. That's the first time I performed it. It was uh, enjoyable for me. Uh, I'm going to step off and take a needed break just for about 20 seconds, but my lovely wife, Irina Meacham, would like to say something. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining in. Um, from every sort of place in the world. I hope that you are all enjoying and you're staying safe and you're staying healthy and you're staying busy too. I know that that can be a challenge. Um, and we're about to perform seven American art songs. Lucas and I perform together. We do concerts and recitals and we have such a deep love for art songs and we wanted to share music with all of you that could could inspire you in some way, uh, any shape or form. And uh, we wanted to give hope and all of these songs have a, a theme that, um, that we will persevere, that we are resilient and we are together. And um, we, just, we just hope it- Together, together. with bananas. <laughs> with bananas. <laughs> the singer's best friend, best food. Do we have any questions or something that we wanted to answer? Anything coming up? No? Okay. Thank you for chiming in, everybody, with your comments. We'll take a second and read through some of them. Yeah. Um, but we do want to continue with the music because that's why you're all here. That was beautiful, honey. Huh? 
So uh, I wanted to also say that uh, the good thing about the opera world is that normally when one door closes, perhaps another door opens. So I'm sure that in the future I will sing this role somewhere at some time. Uh, so there's no need to get too down about it myself, Lucas. So uh, now to shift gears a bit, today I've selected some songs to sing for you that represent the resiliency of the human spirit in these trying times. So after all, I mean, we, we entertainers, we have a job to do, and I hope to do my job well today, as well as my wife, who is a little not quite in this shot right here. So I'm just gonna scoot it over there. And uh, actually, I have a question because we're about to sing a bunch of art songs. In the chat, chat, please let me know, what are your favorite art songs? Do you have some favorites? We might be hitting on them today, we might not, but I'm curious what your favorite art songs, especially with this theme of resiliency, resiliency, unity, and togetherness. Now, without further ado, my next piece is going to be a traditional American song. It's called Shenandoah. It uh, speaks about the Shenandoah River Valley that uh, is found in West Virginia and Virginia, but that's also found in the Appalachian Mountain Range, where I went to school at Appalachian State University. So this, and I grew up close to the Appalachian Mountains, going there as a child. So this song really hits close to home for me. I hope you enjoy it. Enjoy it. It's Shenandoah, arranged by Steve White, my dear friend. Steve, if you're out there, thank you so much for arranging this beautiful song. So thank you. <laughs> I gotta say, it's so weird not to have the applause after this. Uh, but you know what? This is what I signed up for, and I'm so happy you joined me for this. Uh, we're gonna move right on to the next piece, which is oh, this is a great piece. Uh, this next piece is called Litany by John Musto. And it is all about gathering people together and raising them up in unity.
Thank you, John Musto, for that beautiful piece. The next piece we'll be singing, I honestly just put on this program because I really like it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just fun. You'll see, I'm not gonna give it any lead in other than to tell you uh, it's by Richard Hageman and it's entitled, The Rich Man. Richmond has his motor car, his country and his town estate. He smokes a 50 cent cigar and jeers at first. He frivels through the live long day. He knows that poverty. His blood seems light, his heart seems gay. He has a cinch. Yet though my lamp burns low, Still I must slay for livelihood. Think you that I would change with him? You bet I would. You know, I realize that piece does actually have something to do with today. And what that actually has to do with is something I'd like to take a moment to talk about and thank some of the real heroes that are out there doing work. These are the people that are working at grocery stores, who are pumping your gas, EMTs, working in hospitals, 
police stations and firehouses all across the country. Those people who are putting their health at risk, not only for the greater good so that we can continue living our lives in, with some sense of normalcy, but also because it's their livelihood. They can't afford to be home during this crisis and they should be remembered and thanked for their service. So if you see someone that's providing you with a service, then show them your gratitude, show them your love, tip your wait staff. And I'm hearing now they're starting to close down restaurants in some major cities. Tip your wait staff above the norm because they might be going through problems very soon. Uh, they will have fewer and fewer patrons in the coming days. Support your local businesses. I know Target's easy, but try and support your local businesses as much as you can. Thank the person you in the grocery store who's checking you out. They're there working their butts off to try and help you. Uh, just basically shine your love out into the world, and I promise it'll come back to you. And please any, share any stories of love out there that you have seen or heard of. I'd love to hear about it in the chat below. Just uh, let us know any stories you have out there that you might have heard. Okay, the next piece is by an American composer. Actually, <laughs> most of these are, uh, or maybe all of them even. Uh, Charles Ives, who uh, gave us a, a, a lot of great music, but it is based off of an old American song that you might recognize. It's called In the Morning. I need a sip of water. <laughs> Thank you. I still got the pitch, babe. In the morning when I rise In the morning when I rise In the morning when I rise Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. You can have all the world, but give me Jesus. Twixt the cradle and the grave, twixt the cradle and the next song is entitled Grief and it's by William Grant Still and it's one of my favorite art songs that I've ever sung. 
I hope it comes across well on the live stream. Here we go. Weeping angel on pinions trailing and head bowed low in your hands. Morning angel with heart streams wet. Okay, the next song is a very difficult song to sing, both vocally and emotionally. The last time that we had the world come together was on September 11th, 2001. The next set of songs was written by Jake Hagee. We'll be singing one from that set called This Moment On, or That Moment On, actually, is it? That Moment On, this is by Jake Hagee from the 9-11 songs. I have a box, a 
The kind a woman keeps her wedding dress in. Mine is filled with memories of those lost in the sand dunes of dust from the pile where the twin towers had been. Ah, a rosary, ah, a torn picture of ah, a family, a scrap of paper from someone alone. Ah, a trinket from a desk, Buried there in concrete dust, shattered glass, and the bone, and everything belonged to somebody, to somebody gone, and we all belong. To each other from that moment on, that moment Like pixie sticks drop down upon the face of the moon. Still I beams here and there were raised up by the cranes. And as each was lifted from the ash, from the sand dunes of dust, I dug deeper and thought, this is what remains. Then I called my wife and children on the phone. Could barely speak except to say, How you doing? Then I thought of those now all alone, looked around in the dust, and began to pick up pieces from the ruins. Ah, a rosary, a torn picture of a, a family, a scrap of paper from someone alone, a trinket from the desk, buried there in concrete dust, shattered glass, and bone. And everything belonged to somebody, to somebody gone, and we all belonged to each other from that moment on. Everything to somebody gone, and we all belong to each other from that moment on. moment
That's a tough one. We're going to finish in just one second. But I first want to thank you all for joining us. Thank you to the Dallas Opera again for using, uh, allowing us to use this wonderful space. I can tell you that only about five people were involved in the making of this project, and we've all stayed at least six feet away from each other. <laughs> so there are only two other people in this room besides us, and the rest of the hall is entirely empty, as are most halls around the world, actually all halls around the world like right now. So hold each other close after you've washed your hands <laughs> and love each other. So to end, thank you again for joining me and my wife today. Honey, come here and be part of this with me. We've got one more song coming up after this, but I would like to end by thanking the most important people to We Artists. Thank you to the companies and the leaders of the opera companies that we work for, without whom we would have no venue where we can shine our artistic light. I'd like to read to you now a list of the companies that during this global shutdown of our art form have decided to do the right thing and to compensate our artists, their artists, so that we can afford to live through this tragic moment. Now this is not a complete list, but thank you to these companies. Annapolis Opera, Atlanta Opera, Bear Opera, Belcanti Opera Company, Chicago Opera Theater, Dallas Opera, Dell'Arte Opera, Edmonton Opera, Florentine Opera, Grand Rapids Opera, Houston Grand Opera, Indianapolis Opera, read it with me, babe, come on, we got this, Livermore Valley Opera, thank you, Lyric Opera of Kansas City, thank you, Madison Opera, Minnesota Opera, North Carolina Opera, Opera Bend, Opera Birmingham, Opera Omaha, Opera San Jose, Opera Tampa, Palm Beach Opera, Pensacola Opera, Pittsburgh Opera, Pocket Opera, Sarasota Opera, Tapestry Opera, Tulsa Opera, Utah Opera, thank you from all of our hearts. Thank you for helping us to be able to support ourselves through this tragic time. And thank you to the opera companies that I didn't mention. Forgive me, it's an incomplete list. There are other companies out there doing the right thing. Internationally, Irish National Opera, Oldenburger Staatsoper, Opera Nazionale de Lyon, Opera Nationale de Paris, Royal Danish Opera, San Carlos National Opera, Lisbon Teatro, Municipal de Rio de Janeiro. Thank you so much to all of these companies. Now we're going to end on a piece. On a high note. <laughs> on a high note. <laughs> no pun intended. I actually wrote that, end on a high note. <laughs> so really no pun intended. Uh, the last song we're going to perform here is American Anthem. And I know all about this piece because a good friend of mine, Gene Shear, wrote this piece. And I wanted to say, actually, I had a little bit more to say about this particular piece. The next song may have the title of American Anthem, but to me, it represents the global spirit of unity, solidarity, and the ability to stand together in the face of any adversity. So even though I may be saying America in the text here, in my heart, I'm speaking to people of all nations, creeds, and beliefs that we can, we can and we will overcome as a global community fighting this battle together. Now let me know where you are tuning in from. I'd love to hear everybody come in the chat. Let us know where you're coming from because I know this is streamed all around the world right now. Let us know where you are and let us know you're safe. This is American Anthem by Gene Shear. Yeah. 
each generation from the plains to distant shores with the gifts that they were given were determined to leave more valiant battles fought together acts of conscience fought alone these are the seeds for which America has grown. Let them say of me, I was one who believed in sharing the blessings I received. Let me know in my heart when my days are. America, America, I gave my best to you. For those who think they have nothing to share, who fear in their hearts, there is no hero there, no each quiet act of dignity is that which fortifies the soul of all nations that will never die. Let them say of me, I was one who in sharing the blessings I received. Let me know in my heart when my days are through. America, 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 America. Thank you all for joining us today. Thank you to my beautiful, amazing wife, Irina Meacham, who is so talented. Honey, let's bow, even though no one's clapping, because we've had such a good time here today. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Might I ask my friends who have been in this room with us to come just say hello, only if it's not too much and you don't mind being on social media. If you wouldn't come join us. This is, we are complete right here. And we're not keeping six feet, but we're going to aim our faces this way so as not to uh, do anything crazy. And uh, so, uh, let's see, I had something to end this whole thing with, and it's right here. Okay, guys, gals, species, humans, we're all in this together. Rarely have we been more separated right now, but also never have we been more together. Stay safe out there and shine your love out into the world. Thank you for joining us today. All the best. Thank you. I'm going to hit post, right?